know guys we've had a couple days of rain and we weren't getting anywhere on beans they just weren't quite drying so we switched over and we're shelling corn today we got about got this farm done we got the front field done already there's i don't know there's maybe 20 acres here or just elevator was open 11 to 5 so we decided to come here and i think we're gonna go to the other farm and we're gonna open a couple fields up so that way I can get to some other soybean fields with the bean head on next week. Um, just, they got sunny today, but the beans rain last night and foggy and the heavy dew this morning. We wasn't going to wait until 5 to get started and have to quit at 7.30. And the farms that we're on right now, we're not allowed to run there on Sunday. So we just decided to switch to corn for a day and knock a little bit of corn out. So it's doing really well i'm waiting on ben to get back with the grain cart he ought to be coming up here any minute dinner time american legion was having their uh fish and chicken fry so my aunt run picked us up all up dinner so we're gonna eat real quick okay guys it's saturday evening now we went back here and we opened up two corn fields that we got a be able to drive across with the grain head on to get to a field of beans back behind the woods <clears throat> because it's through a crossing in a creek and i don't think we can pull the header cart through it so we shelled some corn it's about 20 percent so we got a cart load we're put we set the eight inch auger up to this bin and we're transferring corn into it right now out of the cart and it's supposed to be like 85 tomorrow and 70s all next week so I figure a layer of corn that however deep in the bin running the fan, but that heat, it's going to dry in there. So we're just putting the load in and we'll just let the fan run and dry it. And then we'll just monitor it. I think we'll be more than fine, but we're transferring corn. about 11 30 we're gonna hurry up and get this thing switched back over to beans we got some nice weather finally and we're cutting beans we've been cutting for probably a couple hours now we had a half hour 45 minute delay i went through the waterway there on the other side of the tractor and my automatic header quit working and dj and i spent a half hour through the bible and did a couple uh, calibrations and we've got it working again so couldn't tell you what we did but we uh, got her so we're back to running now we're dumping on the go the beans are dry finally they're 12 9 right now they were 15 when I started this morning so I figured they dry out pretty quick but you know we had some frustrations there and we're running DJ. There's a little bit on the truck, so maybe after this dump he can go to the bin or we might fill the cart up. Yeah, I don't know. And I got a wagon up there I think I'm gonna dump on too. I think Ben was gonna come out whenever he got done at work and run the cart for us. Hopefully we got we're on the biggest field here at this farm and, and we got to go through one go to one back behind the woods and Hopefully we can get that done, jump to the farm north of here across the fence row.
we averaging a six we got a 63 average for this little field back here so i'm real happy with that some of the best beans we've probably grown on this gravelly ground so we're getting ready to go to the farm right through the fence row that way This farm finished up for the night. We got rain coming, so cart's about half full. DJ said the bin's about full, so we're gonna get unhooked. We're gonna take the combine home, put it away, but everything else we're just gonna take to the other farm, which is a mile south of here. Couldn't have time out any better. We just got the cart unloaded on the truck and he's headed to the bin. Bin's about full, but it's raining. It was just strapping the cart down when I started feeling sprinkles on my back. Of course, it's going to be screwing up my windows that I had washed up all nice. But we got about four miles to go to the shop, so we're heading home. 